Today we're going to be learning how to make a butterfly. That's right, a butterfly. I imagine at this point it's not going to be too hard for some of you, but if it is, we're going to make it easier. So let's move this butterfly out of the way. And I'm going to drag one of the shapes. Which shape? The half sphere. This is going to be the body, so I'm just going to drag, click on one corner right here. Let's get a little bit of a close up here. And not that close. And then move it forward. Does it have to be an exact length? Not really. You're just making a butterfly, so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, that's the body. Now, again, you can change this however you want. I want it to be a little bit thinner because, you know, it's trying to lose weight, it's trying to trying to be healthy. Here's the head. All right, that's not too hard. However, I don't want the head to be that big. So I'm going to, let me get a close-up here of the head. And I'm going to click a, on a corner here. Hit the shift button on my, on my keyboard and then move it closer to the center. There you go. That is more butterfly head-like. All right, so pretty easy stuff so far. I'm going to make one side of the wing right here by, how did I do this last time? I believe it was just a, a cylinder. So I'm going to change the bevels, I'm sorry, the sides. There, it's perfectly flat. I'm going to change the height. Okay, let me get a close up here. I'm going to change the height by clicking on the center. Change this to one. There you go, it's pretty flat. And I can make it any shape I want, and it's about right. I'm going to change the color too, because why not? It's a butterfly. Let's make it, what would be a nice color? Green? Yeah. Let's go with the blue. All right, so we have blue. Now I'm going to copy and paste, Control-C and Control-V, or Command. I want it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to... Move this over here. All right, well, that's not too bad. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do with this one because it just looks like two circles here. I'm going to rotate this. Now, if you see this right here, it tells us to rotate, and I think that looks much better. I'm going to rotate this one too. <clears throat> a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, yes, very butterfly-like. I'm going to group these two together by selecting both of them. You see how I did that with the mouse? Selected both of them. I'm going to hit the group button. Now this is one piece. Okay. Now I am going to copy and paste this one. Control C or and Control V. And I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing the other way. So I'm going to hit the shift button and turn it. All, I'm going to keep on going until it's flat. There it is. So now I'm going to be somewhere right around here. It's hard to tell if it's if it's even, so I'm going to... Uh, whoa, I missed the head. I'm going to select all of it this time. I'm going to get the top view by clicking on this box on the top left. There. Uh, if you can see, it's this one is a little bit lower, so I'm going to click on just this part. And it looks good. Okay. If you've noticed, this butterfly here has the wings up. So I'm going to do that next. If I click on this, it will rotate in that direction. So that's what I'll do. And because I want the other side, the right-hand side here facing me, to be the exact same amount, I am going to rotate it. And remember the number. It looks like 22.5. Now, here's the thing. If you try to print this, it's not going to work. What you want to do is now raise this by clicking this cone and going up. Now, I'm going to move it over to the right. All right, it's not too bad. Now, this one, I'm going to click it. And what was the number before? 22.5. I'm going to raise it up. And I think that was right. Is it under? Oh, it's under. I need to move that up. And is it under? No, nope, it's good. Now I just move it closer to the center of the butterfly. And I think we're good there. Now, do you see a difference between this butterfly and that butterfly? Hmm. 
there is a difference. That is the antenna. So I'm going to use, let's get a close up of just this one. I'm going to use this thing here, the scribble tool. When I click, nothing happens. So I'm going to choose to do it here. Well, it takes me to the screen and I'm just going to do something like that. Obviously you can see it's not perfect, but I believe butterfly antenna also not perfect. So this makes perfect sense here. I'm going to click on the center, drop it down to one millimeter. Now let me see what's going on over here. Ooh, okay. I'm going to rotate this. Nope. Nope. No, this is the one I want. And it'll be 90 degrees. Right there. And because it's going to have two, I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to rotate it this way. I'm going to hit the shift button so it only gives me a few options. Okay, that's 180. It's going to go right there. Oh, yes. This is the butterfly we've been looking for. Right there. <clears throat> now when you print this there should be an option somewhere in your slicer program that's the the program that tells the computer how to print it or it tells the 3d printer how to print it you're going to add support so when this prints this prints in mid in uh with some things going up here so that it prints in the air and then you can just break those things off later anyways that is a butterfly can you think of any other animals we can make with this software program? Because I'd be interested in hearing it. I'm up for the challenge. All right. Uh, let me know what you think. And please write some suggestions. Uh, don't forget to, to uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And enjoy.